got it for just 500 naira. Ah, ah! She even gave us the back. It's the back for me. It's the shoulder for me. It's everything for me. Guys, <laughs> this golden penny, guys. He's searching. He's looking for boo. <laughs> and he was really considering taking his own life. Still up in the streets on time. Still trying to get a million and some peace of mind. Free my dog. Free all of my niggas. I ain't seen in time. Still up in the streets on time. Still trying to get a million and some peace of mind. Hey, Ruiz, welcome back to my channel. Hey Rumi's, welcome back to my channel or welcome back to another video. My name is Miriam Rumi. If this is your first time on this channel, please don't make it your last time by clicking the subscribe button below. <laughs> I'm very turning subscriber. Welcome back. So this is typically me um trying to do like a skincare routine, take care of my hair and all of that because tomorrow is Sunday and I have a Thanksgiving to go to in church. Being the first Sunday of the month. So yeah, this face mask I'm currently using, I bought it yesterday at at miniso mall and i got it for just 500 naira now um i've never tried something like this before my friend went to singapore and she got me some masks but i never used them i feel like it expired or something but anyways i'm just you know i did not check the expiry date of this thing before using it but thank god i'm good this should be good it's currently after three in the morning my baby is very awake. I'm awake. Everybody in my house is awake. If you can hear, you will probably hear them praying. They're doing a video right now. So yeah, I tried this retinol mask for the first time. So this is the first time I'm trying a mask. I just saw it had glycerin and some other good stuff in it. And I just, you know, decided to try it on. And um, yeah, I made a fool of myself. Uh, you guys saw. I, I've never used it before. So I didn't know how to put it apart or use it at all. But anyways, yeah, tomorrow is Sunday. It's currently after three. And uh, I just did a little um, thing with my hair. I'm going to tie it up and let it dry naturally. And tomorrow, before going to church, I'll style it. Talking of church, I really don't have anything to wear here. But I'll figure it out. So um, the first time I'm going to church in a while, I really wanted to look so pretty. But I don't have clothes to wear here. Um, yeah, I think I have to leave this on according to the instruction for like 10 to 20 minutes. And I believe it's somewhere between that right now. So I want to take it off. You have something to say? You have something to say? Cash? You have something to say? No? Okay. So I'm just going to take it off and see what it's like. Um, There's this rolling thing, like a rolling pin or something that everybody's... I've washed my hands because I know I did my... I had to wash my hands for coming back to this. There's this rolling pin that um people use after this. I have right in my house, so I have to make do with what I have right here, which is my finger. So I'm just going to try to massage it into my skin. So first impression, I would say it's it, it is quite hydrating. I feel very hydrated right now, but I was feeling a little bit itchy while it was on my face. I don't know if it's normal. There's just this little bit of itch. I don't know that if that's because I know that um you can react to it by itching or if it was real itchiness. But it wasn't too bad to an extent where I want to rip it out. It was just itching a bit. But anyways, yeah, um I'm starting this vlog midnight <laughs> and uh with so many chaos and noise and everything around but it is what it is i feel like i'm not feeling sleepy but i need to go to bed so i can wake up early because 
I have to be in church by 9:10 ish, and this woman needs my attention. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey my love, so um, I'm dressed, I'm dressed, this is what I was able to come up with and um, I don't know, I feel like I like it, I used the DL foundation and it's like no makeup, really light, it feels, everything just feels so light and sitting in my skin but what I'm scared about is that I used my sunscreen and my sunscreen makes me sweat so I know I'm supposed to use sunscreen before going out right, but my sunscreen makes me sweat, does that mean there's a possibility I'll sweat out all this thing. I just hope it's not a disaster. Because I've not done makeup in a while. But this is what I came up with. And I like it. Simple. It's church time. And I really rushed. I found this shirt. It's my mom's shirt. I feel like it's giving vintage. It's just so nice. Jess, are you calling me grandma? Jess, give me a minute. Wait. So like it's giving... Grandma is calling me. I'm coming. So I really like the shirt. I really like the shirt. It's giving um I don't know macho I know and I just paired it with like a, a jeggings. I'm going to go downstairs and find a shoe I can wear with it. So I found a really nice outfit here, yeah? sleep queen outfit that I'm supposed to wear to church in my box, but my postpartum body is not giving. <laughs> it just wasn't sitting the way it used to sit. So I'm like, nah, I'm not wearing this. No, 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 I'm not wearing this. So yeah um let's go downstairs and i'll probably show you guys the full fit i need to go and find a shoe to wear though yeah, so, this, i changed my shirts because people were waiting for me to change my shirts and also we are fighting for seats we are fighting for seats to see now because nobody wants to carry their car everybody is mising for where is the smartness in that <laughs> it's church season period since first of january 31st slash 4th, this is the first time I'm going to church. So anyways, this is the driver, this is the co-passenger, this is the car owner, and these are my fellow passengers. Everybody say hello! <laughs> driver, mouse the baby. I'm feeling very happy, like, I feel like, oh my god, I feel blessed already. You have received the Holy Ghost. Is this, like, sister, is this how you used to feel yeah, when you're going to church? That's the feeling. Um, Period. I'll keep it up. I'll keep it up. Mm. I'll keep. I. I you know, shock The facts. I'll go join the choir. Surprise. Ah. Say hi. I'm not making. I'm not making a picture. I'm making a video. Don't 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 do Don't do <laughs> Don't do See my goals. Come on. Auntie, walk it. Walk it. Walk it. Walk it. Walk boo boo. Ah ah. She even gave us the back. It's the back for me. It's the shoulder for me. It's everything for me. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Ah ah.
Well wishers, his family to please come forward and produce his testimony to the glory of God. Her daughter more than me. Yes. <laughs> How you we guys doing? Like, come on, it's giving. It's giving for until come on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the next day. Yesterday was crazy. I was so happy to go to church, to actually be in church. I feel like I've not been in church for so long that the moment I felt like I was in the presence of God, I was just so... If you look at me, if you actually looked at me and looked at me, you know this girl doesn't go to church because I don't think people are actually that excited. I know people are always excited in church, but I went there with so much energy. And after that, we went to the house. And everything just went on from there and i really wanted to be in the moment so i didn't make a video of it um anyways yesterday was great i had fun i had so much fun i drank red wine for the first time in such a long time i drank alcohol for the first time in such a long time i felt like it affected me i lost my purse i lost my dollar card there was that anyways it was fun and um yeah you guys Tell me how I notice I now have a bald spot here and it's bit here. This is why I don't braid. I know in the vlog I made before I said every time I braid, I lose my front hair. I like this is just proof. Why? Why do I always have to lose my front hair every time I braid? Why? <laughs> I feel like sometimes I really want to do some nice styles. I start to um keep pictures and all of that i want to do ghana weaving i want to do this but then i remember my hair 
my hair is not that strong in front. It always breaks. Look at me now. I have a bald spot that I have to take care of. And so annoying, so painful. So something happened today, yeah? And I feel like I want to tell you guys about it. Today, I did a lot of running around, personal stuff, so I didn't vlog them. And then when I got home, I remember today was 5th. And uh, I did this savings for 5th of this month. To, I was supposed to like get this 5th of this month on calorie wise and what did i save for i saved it to get some makeup and skincare stuff and um yeah i just feel like makeup has gotten so expensive and so has skincare stuff and i really wanted i had like a list of things i wanted to get so i felt like okay instead of just taking out book money like that i need to save for it and um for some reason i remember this guy that couple of my wigs are wigs. It makes my, it revives my wigs for me. But because I've not used wigs in such a long time, I've not contacted him. I gave him some wigs the last time I saw him and I've not contacted him since then. That was over a year ago. <laughs> and I, I kind of felt like he must have lost them due to the expensive. But I felt like he must have lost them and he would be somehow at his right. And I can't really push too much. So I just called him, you know. I would usually text, but today I called him. And the moment I called him, he just went, mama, mama, long time, you know. He was excited to hear from me. And I asked him about my wig. It's just the fringe one I actually needed. I told him what I needed to do on it. And he said, yeah, he'll do it, he'll do it. Although I paid him for it then, I felt like I needed to pay him again or just find him something. So I told him to send him my account. He said, I told him to send me his account, which he did. And I sent him something. And then he sends me a voice note telling me how I have no idea what I just did for him. You know, that honestly, he would do anything to pay me back. Anything I actually really want. That is not about the money. It's the fact that I called him. And he actually said I was the first person to call him in two days. Two days. And he was really considering taking his own life. I don't know what people are going through. I know it's really tough in Nigeria right now. It's extremely tough in Nigeria right now. But this young man said he was considering taking his own life. And my call was the first call that came through in two days. Two days, you guys. Check on your friends. Check on your family members. Check on people you love. Check on people you care about. I know I'm not one to say this because I'm terrible with messages. I'm terrible with phone calls. Like, I'm so hard to reach. And a lot of people gave up on me. A lot of people have given up on me. But I'm just saying now that it's actually so bad. I go sometimes days and my phone doesn't ring. Because I've become such an introvert, I'd literally, I didn't cut my friends off. I just literally stopped responding. I stopped going out. And I guess people get tired of stuff like that. And then it got to a stage where when my phone rings, I can guess who is calling me. And that was when I'm like, oh my God, like I've actually gone so deep into this. And I, it, it, it kind of put me in like a depressed or a depressing mood sometimes, especially because I live alone with my help and my kids my man is not always around and it just makes me go crazy not you know how sometimes you can just be at home all day and you just remember oh my god i've not spoken to anybody today and you, you'd be like hello <laughs> i saw that somewhere you know when you remember you've not spoken to anybody today that's me that used to be me and that was one of the reasons why i started doing youtube because then i can speak to camera right i can just talk and just talk that was one of the reasons why it keeps me busy it keeps me occupied and distracted so i feel like i did that to myself and i'm working on it i'm really trying my best sometimes i forget oh i'm trying to do this but like other times i remember and i go back to it go back to socializing again i don't know what this guy was going through but for some reason he said nobody had contacted him in two days and this is a guy that one of the reasons why i even said let me call him instead of texting him is because i've not seen his updates in such a long time and he's so vain he's always updating when i called him He's just like, Mama, thank you. He said he had been smoking all day, which I would not encourage. But he had been smoking all day. Things were getting to him. He was so depressed. And his mind was just pushing him like he should kill himself, you know. And I felt so honored that I was the one that actually called him. Like, I could, I could put the voice notes for you guys to hear. Because he sent me a voice note. And I replied in a voice note because I felt like I had to. So, yeah. Um always check on your people because nigeria is actually really tough right now and forget nigeria people are going through a lot people are smiling and going through a lot like i could be going through a lot right now i'm talking to you guys and you don't know so always like ask people how are you and mean it's not just how are you i'm fine or what's up i'm good like ask how are you and mean it's how was your day what did you do today how are you feeling those things are actually really necessary 
you're really necessary. I just feel like I usually don't like to, you know, talk too much in my videos because and if I talk slow or I talk too much, it ends up getting so long. I end up talking for like a long period of time. And I'm always trying to keep my vlog short because I notice you guys don't really engage. <laughs> you guys don't really engage on long videos. You guys don't even engage on my videos. Talk about some long vlogs. Um, I just wanted to say that because I felt like it was really necessary. I felt so touched. And somehow, somehow, him telling me that made me feel so good, made me feel better. Like, oh, I was able to, you know, call someone at the right time. I'm always here. You guys wonder why I'm always at my mom's place. It's because loneliness is mad. Loneliness is a madness. And I've realized that I don't think I'm one of the, those people that like to be alone. I've always known I don't like to be alone. And then I started engaging on getting to know myself, spending time with myself, enjoying my company. And I got into it so much that I started feeling depressed. And now I actually know that I don't want to be alone. Yes, I want my alone time, but I don't want to be alone ever in life. And it hurts so much to want to pick up your phone and call someone and you don't have anybody to call. I did a video about losing friends. Losing friends is painful. <laughs> it is. It is. It is honestly. So it hurts so much when you really just want something to distract you. Sometimes it's, it's, it's a kind of therapy to, you know, speak to your friends, go out with your friends, which I've not done in such a long time. So I could really relate to where the guy was coming from. I'm done ranting. I'm done. <laughs> i'm done and uh i don't have anything else to say i i majorly came to talk to you guys today because i needed to talk about ruben that's his name his name is ruben so yeah my hair is fine when he said he had to tell me something the way he kept saying it i thought he wanted to say i'd lost one of my hairs and i'm like am i allowed to get angry i can't get angry but then when he said this to me it took me aback because that was not what i was expecting at all but yeah see you guys tomorrow no, they do like polo. You want me to drink, just give me Coca-Cola. Baba, tell me, tell us, come make a, come make a show you that corner. No, they do like polo. Hey my loves, how are you guys doing? I just filmed a video with this look, a get ready with me video, and it was <laughs> ridiculously ridiculous. Honestly, the video was ridiculous. I was all over the place and I was running late for where I had to go to. But yeah, I did the video, I went out and I'm back and I wanted to say hi to you guys. Um about where I went to I think I'm going to mention it to you guys when what I'm trying to do falls into place because I don't want to jinx it. Um now I just want to get ready to film another video. Video topic, I don't know yet. I have a couple of topics that I want to touch, but I don't know which particular one I'm going to be filming now. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what topic I'm going to be filming. And then um, I'll pick the outfits. The outfit, I feel like the outfit to determine the topic. I I don't really have much clothes here. I've said this like a billion times. So it has limited, you know, the things that I could do anyways. My light is shaking. Fabulous! Ah, now block the tie go by. There's no the things I could do anyway. I'll see you guys in a minute. Let me find what to wear. I want to film, but new mama wants to cuddle. She just wants to cuddle and eat. She's sleeping. Then she wakes up in the middle of the sleep and then she wants to continue eating. So she wants the food to remain in her mouth. The moment I take my nipples from her mouth, she wakes up. That's what we're on. Just praying for her to sleep so I can film my video. Also, um, I changed my lip color because it's been so long since I used red. I'm such a nude girl that the red was just too much for me. And um, this is the shirt that I wanted to wear to church that people voted against. So I just found an opportunity to, you know, wear it right now. Apart from filming that video, I don't have anything else to do today or tomorrow. So I feel like I should just end this vlog here. Today is what? 6th or 7th? Today is Wednesday. 6th or 7th of June. I'm not sure. I think 7th of June. I'm just gonna um, end this vlog here and i'm going to start a new vlog when i finally have activities to video to make videos of because i'm literally not doing anything i don't see why i should be wasting people's time all my time i'll see you guys in another one